My name is Ankit and this is Sushant here. In this video, we will discuss about Parsha Kona Asana. Side, Parsha means side, Kona means leg, the side angle pose. Parsha Kona Asana is very good asana to open up your pelvic. It's one of the great asanas of Ashtanga series, isn't it? It's an Ashtanga fundamental asanas. I want him to start from the top. Now from here, take the right leg back. So hands come to the waistline and it's a swing. So he will swing the right leg back and open up the pelvic for the star pose. This position is known as the star pose. If you're doing uh, a sangha with me from quite a time, you must know that uh, this is the second base position I have explained several times. The star pose, toes are slightly in, both the toes, this gives me the stability. Now we want to do this Parshoko Nasana with the right side first. You can take it like uh, doing with the right side is actually the discipline of Ashtang Yoga or you can also feel like uh, we do it with the sun side first and then with the moon side so both are good all right so I want him to turn the right leg out you see when he turned the right leg out I have explained this before never drop this pelvic forward again bring the right leg in Sushant. so what we can do I want to drop this left hand on the pelvic this is just to give you awareness that don't turn this so push the push your pelvic backward and then turn the right leg. So the leg is turning from the thighs. You see? The leg is turning from the thighs. Okay. Toes a little bit in, chest open. Now inhale. I want him to bend that knee. It's fine, Sushant. You can behave. We can bend the knee, but I want the knee and ankle in line. Can you see this knee? The knee and ankle in line. Why? So the pressure, all the pressure what he's giving a little bit forward can go to the heel and then firmly to the ground. Alright? I also want this thigh should be parallel so you can feel the thighs, the inner thighs properly. So I want him to take the leg, back leg more back a little bit. Sushant, can you take this? Yes, a little bit more. So you can adjust from the back side and then bend the front knee more. So again, you can see now the knee and ankle in line and thighs are almost parallel to the ground. So you can sink. Feel like this thigh is going towards your heel. So try to push the thighs, Sushant. Try to press this thigh towards the heel. Very good. Okay. Now, this hand remains here. This will help you to open up your chest. All right, so let it be there. Now extend forward. We are going for the stage one first. For the stage one, keep extending forward and drop the elbow over your thighs. Drop the elbows over your thighs. Now, don't rest on your shoulders. Push your thigh. Now, don't rest. Can you rest here? Don't do this. This is wrong. Please don't do that. So push your knees and lift your body up. Push your hips a little bit more forward so the knee and ankle, they always come off. And now you can open up the chest by pushing your elbows down. So look how I'm doing that. And look at the chest. The elbows are going down and back. And look at the chest is opening up. Now inhale, lift your arm up. You can stay here if you feel that the chest is good. Basically, we try to turn the palms facing towards the head and extend the hand forward. So you can feel the side of the body is extending. Side angle. This is the angle what he's making and the side of the body is extending. But if this drops your chest, Please stay there with this position, arms facing up, all right, arms facing forward, stay. Or if you can turn, turn forward and look towards your palm if you can. If you can't, if any, you feel the pain in your neck, keep looking forward. I will explain you how you can look like this, all right. You can check my triangle video, the triangle pose, I have explained everything related to the neck, all right. So you can be in this position. This is side angle, all right. Now inhale, you can come back. I will explain the stage two with the other side now. You can make the leg straight, come to the star. Yeah, hands goes to the pelvic, turn your left leg out. Same thing as we did with the right side. Don't feel like we're doing it fast. Now take the back leg a little bit more back, Sushant. This position is also known as warrior two. If you are confused, I've explained warrior two in my, in my yoga channel. You can see you will find a video related to your this. All right, Sushant, the hands was here. Now extend forward. Now, if you feel like stage one is good for me, you can drop the palms down on the knees, uh, on the floor, sorry. Fingertips can be in support again. The goal is to open up the chest again. So again, you can push the elbows down and open up the chest. If you're feeling the shoulders are falling forward, please come back and come to the stage one. Now lift your arms up, turn it forward and extend it forward. You can look towards the palm. The common mistake again happens is this. The front ribs comes out. Did you see that? This is overextension. When some people are over flexible with their spine, they bring their front ribs out. So what you have to do, you have to take a deep breath in and with exhale, tuck this in. Push the rib cage in. You can do it by your, with your own hands also. 
or with exhale the ribs goes in all right the away the pelvic rolls back the right the left hip goes in stay the hips will be forward so when i see from the this side i want fingers i want toes i want head and hip in line it's a side bending all right people usually do the common mistake come up this is the final asana though people do the common mistake they bend forward and then try to touch their hands down this is bending forward if we see from the side sushant can you show from the back side can you show from the back side so you can bring that leg forward actually and take this leg back okay so as he's bending the knees look at the hips you want your body should be like this head and hip in line right now the hip is pushing in all right and this is the side bending you see hip remains in and the head and hip is still in line but what people usually do like they they feel like it's good to touch their hands down they go to touch their hands down and now look at this hip goes back and the head goes somewhere else look at this the hip is here and the head is here two places this is not side bending this is forward bend and we don't have to do the forward bend we have to do the side bend so come up push your hips and scoop the tailbone in do the posterior tilt extend forward and then drop the hands down either in either out comfort i i always prefer doing inside because this opens up my chest now look at the head and your hips in line all right this is much better do it like this then inhale after a few breath you can come up come to the star pose so you can make the leg straight turn your toes in come to the star then turn your one leg facing forward and bring your other leg forward so in the initial phase you can come to the star because star pose is actually the base position it brings you back to the base and then you can slowly come back to the resting samasthi pose all right this is all about pashu konasana all right the side angle pose if you have any question related to this asana do comment in the comment box and do write me down do dm me if you need any topic or yoga videos or any topic related to yoga please dm me related to that also please don't forget to subscribe our channel we post youtube yoga videos in youtube every week one video or two videos all right thank you so much namaste